Yo guys, uh, we just came back from Gamescom and uh, honestly it was wild. We've managed to speak with almost every Web3 game out there and in this video I'm going to give you a full breakdown of entire event. Uh, what did we find out? Uh, how the state of Web3 gaming looks in comparison to like broader spectrum. In the second part of the video I'm going to give you my view on the market. Obviously a lot of things has happened and we see some coin sprint, double digits, triple digits and this time it's all green so very good thing to see uh, and i think we deserve it after such a f brutal time basically since march so if you're excited for this one guys um smash this like button subscribe and let's go It's the second year I'm here, and I'm already lost. This game should be on a blockchain. play or something like that. God, this sunlight. So, guys, if you ever been on Gamescom, um, this is this event is wild. We basically, have a lot of stands from all the companies, basically around the world, and people are standing hours in lines to play some uh, games that are early stage or soon soon to be released. And every year. Regarding to Web3 games, I see more and more stands uh, that represent uh, Web3 games. And the state of the games from three years ago till now made such a huge progress. 
three years ago, I've seen Katana Inu, like early, really clanky build that honestly was kind of hard to look out. Uh, like you had to have a, a lot of balls to present this among other projects that are, you know, games that seem to be very, very polished. Those Web3 games usually, Web2 games usually are just way more polished when they go on, on events like Gamescom. But this year I've seen Illuvium, uh, Space Nation, Parallel. Uh, we've also managed to speak with the Bornless, Pixelmon, um, Synergy Land, IMX, basically all those projects, they had a super polished product. Of course, it's still not uh, completed, but already, like, if you were jumping on a game, the feeling was completely different. And people generally got interested in the game. Some of them also got interested in Web3 aspects of so digital economy, collectibles, all this stuff, like, you know, tokenization, stuff on the blockchain, blah, blah, blah. The thing that most of us probably watching this channel is, you know, like super excited for. Uh, but it was really good to see that in general, reception of people uh, regarding those things were really warm and they were really genuinely interested. And also like, I think the biggest impression for me uh, made uh, Bornless. Bornless had a pretty big stand uh, and people were constantly, like there was a constant line. Also, uh, they had uh, two cosplays. Uh, one was Erebus, the demon that hunts you in those early bu builds. Now with the new build, you basically were um, playing like whoever wins, he gets to play the demon and then he kills the others. And people were actually really like um, enjoying this crazily. I see some people were streaming, like a lot of a lot of people just, you know, standing in line waiting to see this. Cosplays were crazy. They were also giving sugar. <laughs> they were also giving candies, which was also definitely a benefit. But honestly, no, I've, I've, I've talked with the, with the team. They've been like those every day for 10 hours, you know, constantly like people are piling into your, your place. This must be super exhausting. So shout out to basically all of those projects. Also Wilder World, Illuvium, I've seen so much traction. Pixelmon, uh, Parallel, uh, those projects were constantly, you know, being hunted by people coming in and trying to find out about the game, trying to play the game a little bit. So in general, I am super excited for the future of Web3. I think that the progress that I've seen through these three years is gigantic. And we know if you're watching this channel, uh, you know that I'm like a huge fan of uh, blockchain economy in the games. And I think that this is definitely going to be the new step. And after seeing an event like this, I totally see this possibility happening i totally see it like three years ago it was kind of like you had to be pushing the web3 elements to people and now they're just curious some of them just heard something you know uh, it's becoming more and more like familiar to people and they are more less and less scared of it and this is something that i just love so shout out to all the projects i visited i had super fun talking with the devs and looking also uh, you know uh, getting some info from first hand this is something you can do on discord but face to face is just some how this like magical normal communication that we humans should have and um super fun oh also important thing thing to mention i've been talking to the project that uh, sadly is not with us anymore and of course i mean dimensionals this is one of the it sucks double because uh, this is the one of the project that i've been mentioning in uh, this video uh, about my four biggest NFT bets regarding gaming and um, along with Wildcard and Azra games that perform uh, very very good uh, Dimensionals was one of them that unfortunately just pivoted from Web3 and uh, NFTs basically uh, yeah, went to zero which is not the first time but it sucks 
because it's not like uh, the project just rugged and they just you know killed the project because the game is still being built i still think that this is going to be a great game and it sucks because it's not a web 3 game anymore and it has such a big potential but i heard from the founder basically the same thing uh, sash told me basically the same thing that he posted on on x that it, it just got hard and everything and you know and, and they needed to do something and the price was dumping and they were actually he was very 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 concerned about the floor price and kind of i think it overgrew him and um, obviously he also has some obligations to his investors sadly holders were not treated as such and um, this also shows you that all the project that holders are content content are basically holding very very well but honestly it is what it is uh, i just wanted to share with you this uh, for me it sucks regarding the things i've heard the explanation i've heard i still think it could be done better i said that but it's not like we have been rugged we've never been rugged before in the web3 space it just sucks but this was a really uh, solid game that just uh, kind of turned their back on uh, I think what's going to be future of gaming, uh, the Web3 aspect, but we will see. All right, guys, let's talk about the charts a little bit, because I've seen some Bitcoin doing some sexy things in, in the past few days and honestly altcoins as well. So most of the most of the picks, basically, I think if you were just like even blindly shooting on any altcoin, you made at least like 10%. But I'm really happy because majority of the picks that uh, we've given on this those videos did uh, printed like uh, 20, 30 percent. And things like smoking chicken fish, I know it's meme coin. Of I am disgusted by buying this, but uh, this one actually printed from the way we bought it. I think I bought it like on 18th of August, somewhere here. Uh, we printed like 119% now, so we're really being bounced and I don't think this shit is going to stop because look at this. This is smoking chicken fish. It's the church of smoking chicken fish. Like what the f you don't understand. Although I hope it's not gonna, this this part of the bull run is not going to be lead by, led, led, lead by mem coins. I hope that we finally gonna see even like some Ponzi fundamentals. I, I, I still way enjoy more those Ponzi fundamentals that at least you can speculate about the future of the project, even if it turns out to be a rug at the end. Uh, at least like maybe the concept idea was, was kind of cool and, and that was kind of, you know, what would bring the people to invest. When it's really super hard to just uh, spot a good meme coin, at least for me guys i see this going to valhalla next week or we're going to have a small fatality because people are already greedy they are jumping the uh, the market sentiment is already greed so if we're gonna be today also positively priced actioned then we're probably gonna see extreme greed tomorrow or something like that and then i see a little flush out of the leverage and then we maybe continue. This is what I see. I see that a lot of people, this bull market is playing on leverage. I play on leverage. Uh, a lot of people is just using this as a way to make money faster. And obviously a lot of people are doing it wrong or doing it irresponsibly. So, you know, market is going to be very crashy. Also the economical conditions, it's not like we have a full healthy worldwide market. We have a shitty economic conditions in the world. So this bull market, if it's going to be a bull market, I think it's going to be brutal. At some point it's going to end up insanely fast and and insanely tragically. So make your money, watch out, take profit from now on and uh, buy Lambo at the end. And don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. See ya.